Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what is going on in your connection with this other person. How do you feel about each other and what are their next actions or intentions towards you? As always, this is meant to be a general love reading so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates and applies to your situation and leave the rest. All right, so let's jump right in. I'm gonna start with some romance angels. What's the overall energy spirit for Virgos in love? Overall energy spirits, angel spirits for Virgo. What's the overall, overall energy please spirit in love? Okay, first card out, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Can I get one more please? Overall energy for Virgos. Calling in your soulmate. Prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have reconciliation. So some of you may be um, freeing yourself from a situation, you or your person, in order to have some sort of coming together here. So let's see. Let's see more. Give me some more information for Virgo. I'm using my new... Solar Energy Oracle deck. This is available now. Link down below if you're interested. For Virgo, please. What are the past, present, future energies for Virgo? Past, past energies for Virgo. What are the past energies for Virgo? Okay, we got reach out, contact, exchange, touch. Take the initiative to reach out. what else for Virgo? present energy we have difficult decision options choice and decision this decision could lead you down two different paths okay what about near future energy for Virgo what's the near future energy breathe in meditation healing rest take time to meditate and relax your mind and body I'm also getting like uh, thinking deeply about something here. So let's see what the tarot have to say for Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo. And what's coming Virgo's way in love? What's going on here? Kind of do a simple spread past present future energies and then I also look at this spread as a whole um, and then we'll clarify and get some more information for Virgo okay let's see what we have for you Virgo recent past we have the seven of cups reverse present energy the knight of cups with the knight of coin wow so someone's making, I feel like this decision is regarding an offer, an opportunity here. Uh, this could be an apology, um, an offer to make things right, have something um, be um, discussed, planned. Knight of Coin takes their time though. Very Virgo energy there. And this could be all a spread about you, your person, or both of you near future we have the tower reverse i feel like that's why this is a difficult decision some of you are dealing with a tower moment that's either currently happening or about to really come down bottom of the deck and the overall energy is the nine of wands so feeling tired having um defensive energy Feeling like you have to be wary, protective of yourself with the Nine of Wands. We'll clarify and see what that's all about. Um, but what I'm getting here, it's, it's almost like it's been a long time coming. Um, whatever is taking place here between you or for one of you specifically with the Nine of Wands. This is someone that over time has been worn out. Um, this is someone who 
uh, has been through war, has come back, they're tired, they're broken, they're wounded, but they are not quite giving in. So let's clarify these energies and get some more information here for Virgo. Spirits, angels, guides, tell me more for Virgo. More for Virgo. One more. Okay, let's start with this overall energy. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why is this the overall energy for Virgo? Strength reverse. Yeah, this is someone that's tired. They literally have no more strength left. Um, this is a card also about maybe not having control over a situation, um, Leo energy here. This could be somebody that is ready to give up. Maybe they've been fighting for a long time, especially in this particular deck. This card upright is literally a man fighting a bull. You know, it's like there's physical exertion here. And so I'm picturing someone that's just, number one, they didn't win. And number two, they're like super tired now. They, they used a lot of energy there. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands River. Not the Nine of Wands River, the Nine of Wands, please. Seven of Wands. Yes, there's, there's especially also in this deck, um, this is someone that's like putting up a barrier, um, trying to preserve themselves or protect themselves, defend themselves against a storm. So I'm getting a lot of like resistance here. Um, almost like fighting back. Even though, even though you're worn out, I feel like this is someone who is still fighting back or gaining courage or trying to protect themselves no matter what. Why is the Nine of Wands here? get one more king of swords reverse this is not a good person to be dealing with this king of swords reverse so perhaps someone is fighting back against someone that's difficult it could be somebody manipulative i have the magician reverse maybe there's somebody getting in the way of you fighting back or facing you know like challenges like for example they don't want you to be able to overcome something difficult this could be anybody uh surrounding you this could also be you um i don't know i'm getting that for a small number of you you have been resisting uh making a difficult decision um almost like self-deception or perhaps you're just a little bit blinded to the real truth of the situation but that i feel is just like a very small number of you some of you i feel are dealing with someone difficult with this king of swords reverse tell me about the seven of cups reverse i feel like someone here there's probably um a, a wrong choice made here yeah ace of pentacles reverse this decision led to a loss of some sort could be a financial loss, could be a commitment that's been broken. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? King of Pentacles reverse, definitely. This could have even been um, a marriage for some of you. I feel like someone is not feeling very stable or secure right now given what's going on. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Can I get one more? This could be you, Virgo. I have a lot of Earth energy here. Two of Swords, yes. So, <clears throat> in this deck, if you can see, the Two of Swords is almost like two people kind of showing up to a battle. <laughs> um, I feel like if this was a broken commitment, there was like arguments, fights. Um, this is a difficult decision. I feel like, like a lot of you, uh, for the Virgos that I'm talking to, this could be you specifically that are having to make a difficult decision or your person. Um, but whoever this is that's making the difficult decision, I feel like there has been almost like um, 
because I have at the bottom of the deck the moon reverse. So I feel like this has been kind of like a slow process or perhaps something came to light um, or you are no longer being held back by your fear, your confusion, your doubt. Um, and so now it's like it's time to make the decision and I feel like some of you might be hesitating. Others of you, you might be uh, prevented from making a certain decision here. Someone trying to get in the way of you actually making a final decision. I just feel like there's there's opposition here. I'm getting this energy of someone opposing someone else's decision. Um, I feel like for a small number of you, it's like you lost confidence in your decision making because you screwed up so bad or your last decision was such a mistake. But I feel like that's a very small number of you. Why is the Knight of Cups here with the Knight of Coin? Why is the Knight of Cups here with the Knight of Coin? Ten of Wands Reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups here with the Knight of Coin? Six of Cups reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups here? One more, please. The Knight of Coin. I feel like someone. Wow, there's the Knight of Coin reverse. Nine of Swords reverse at the bottom. So I feel like, yeah, okay. I'm getting a few things here so this whatever this is with the knight of coin and the knight of cups here this is some sort of offer coming in message coming in apology possibly an opportunity um i feel like someone it's like the past was a burden and so with the six of cups reverse and the ten of wands reverse someone is letting go of this burden of the past whatever this is it could be fear that they're finally letting go of um, and they're ready to move on to a new cycle because we have the Ten of Wands reverse. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So again, I'm getting like delays. I'm getting delays. Let's see. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? The Magician Reverse, yep. Why is the Knight of Pentacles Reverse? The Magician Reverse shows up again. With Remember, the Magician Reverse came out with that King of Swords Reverse. And the Hangman, exactly. So I feel like there's someone, someone possibly heartbroken with a Page of Cups Reverse, or this could be you, heartbroken at the fact that someone's keeping you stuck, or it's like this could be um, manipulated, manipulative tactics to keep you from actually moving on. Again, this could be you or your person. I feel like someone's literally trying to get in the way of you leaving to make a decision or taking some sort of action. And you could be heartbroken about this or this person's doing this out of feelings of disappointment and heartbreak. Can I get one more, please? Page of Wands. I feel like, yeah, this is probably someone trying to keep you from communicating with someone else or again, taking initial steps towards something new here. It's like they don't want this to happen. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, this is so, and the Lovers reverse. This could be somebody that you're leaving behind or a breakup or a partner from the past, whatever the case may be. They're, it's like they want to get in the way of you progressing. Why is this how, and this could be an ex-partner, a family member, a friend, anybody that's surrounding this connection. Why is the Tower reverse? Why is the tower reverse? Ten of Pentacles, my goodness. Why is the tower reverse? Eight of Cups reverse. Why is the tower reverse? Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like there is someone else here. Something that is in the way. With the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, and then there's the Five of Wands right after that. Again, with like this idea of challenge, opposition. I have the Three of Swords after that. Oops, can't hold these. 
This is what I'm seeing. And then the fool right after that. So again, it's like someone trying to keep someone from breaking free, from freeing themselves, from having a new cycle. Um, I feel like they're going to try whatever it is that they, you know, whatever sneaky behavior they would like. And I feel like it's to keep someone from leaving with the Eight of Cups reverse. Um, this could also be trying to keep someone from returning to someone or somewhere else. And I think this is someone that perhaps you were in the long-term commitment with. Perhaps there are issues with family, money, responsibilities. Um, I just, I'm seeing a story here. Actually, this was here at the bottom of the deck. Can I get some more information? What are the challenges or the blocks? In the near future, what I see is a tower that someone's trying to prevent, but for some reason, I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. I think it's someone else trying to prevent a tower from happening. Possibly this tower is just slowly taking place here, regardless of someone's efforts. What's the challenges or the blocks here for Virgo? The challenges or the blocks here for Virgo. And I feel like there's like a soulmate connection here that, I mean, I don't really see it on the board, but I do have that calling in your soulmate energy. I have the Six of Cups reverse. Um, I don't know. What's the challenges or the blocks? I feel like there's a soulmate connection that could happen here. Nine of Cups. Why, is the why are the challenges or the blocks? To this connection i feel like someone's wish is being challenged or blocked yeah knight of cups so this knight of cups is being challenged or blocked yeah and then i have the six of swords at the bottom someone is being challenged or blocked um from expressing themselves from leaving a situation this is the message i keep getting the message what's this queen of pentacles okay just fell out so there could be money um or someone that is uh part of a family um can i get one more here seven of pentacles yes i feel like this was someone who with the seven of cups reverse and i have this in this particular deck this person's pregnant so i feel like maybe there's children involved or an investment that has taken a long time to come together and this was why we have the nine of wands so what i'm trying to say is if this was a marriage or a long-term commitment there was a lot that was put into this commitment and so now it's not so easy to just let that go perhaps there are literal children involved uh, but i feel like this particular person who was in this commitment they're not just going to let someone go possibly due to finances um we have the empress reverse so the empress reverse to me is like um something that's not manifesting someone that's angry someone that is a jilted lover sometimes and then we have the wheel. So I feel like this is this is a situation that um, that's probably why breathe in is here. This card. Um, try not to get bothered or swayed or discouraged by whatever's happening with this other person. I feel like there needs to be a calmness here because a trust, um, faith. Because I feel like this is just part of someone's like plan, I guess. And it's not going to work. So why get hot and bothered by what they're doing? I know it's easier said than done, but that's what I feel Spirit is trying to tell you. Um, you know, trust in what's taking place. Um, I got this. Just, you know, try to heal, work on yourself, focus on yourself, on your happiness, free yourself from whatever is keeping you back. Um, I feel like that's the message here. Okay, I'm going to be using my new Stellar Guidance deck. This is available now. It's linked down below as well. Any messages from Spirit for Virgo? Oh my God, that one just came right out. All that glitters isn't gold. Okay, let's get one more. Any messages for Virgo? Good news on the way. Okay. And I just want to like pick this up and see what's at the bottom of the deck. Weeks from now. Okay, so, so probably good news on the way in a couple of weeks here. There is reach out here, which is all about contact, communication. Um, so I feel like there's something coming in that I feel with all that glitters is in gold. That's like that moon card reverse, like something's going to be seen clearly for the first time. Um, all right. Thank you so much for watching Virgo and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.